That is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of electronic find I was hoping for today. <laughs> American Arbitrage. Hey everybody, Carrie here. I hope you're having an awesome day. I'm Carrie, aka American Arbitrage, and in this video, I'm gonna go thrifting, looking for profitable items that I can flip on eBay, Amazon, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. Follow along and let's see what kind of treasures I find to flip online. First stop of the trip, first stop of the day, the DI in St. George. Let's see what we find today. The first find of the day was a pretty interesting one. Got this San Francisco cable car mug. It's interesting because it's 3D, but it's also inside the mug the way they did it. So that's very interesting. Only a dollar, so the price was right. I could only find one current offer on this particular mug. I think I can get about 10 to $12 plus shipping. As many of you all know, my favorite section is the toy section at the thrift store. But today, unfortunately, there just wasn't much going on in the toy section. This bag of toys wasn't worth it. There was no vintage uh, Matchbox or Hot Wheels, no Disney cars, no great plushes in this bag either. So I had to move on to the next section. I don't know what it is, but I always like looking at the alarm clocks, maybe because they're easy to ship and there's some good vintage ones, but I didn't find anything there today. I thought this might be Department 56, but unfortunately it was $6 and it was just generic. Um, Department 56 would have been definitely worth buying though. 100, 200, 500 disc CD changers are something you should be looking out for at the thrift store. This is a 200 disc changer JVC, cost $15. I should be able to sell this for about $70 to $90 plus shipping. And we got another disc changer find, a 101 disc Pioneer one, $15 as well. The interesting thing is, even though it holds half the amount of CDs, it's worth about the same amount, $70, $80, $90 plus shipping. Great finds. Here is the go-to bread and butter electronic item that every reseller is looking for, $12 DVD VHS player. Should make me about $40 to $50 plus shipping. You'll be surprised how often you find these. So often, in fact, I went back, looked one shelf down, and there was another DVD VHS player, same brand, just a different model, $10. I should be able to make almost exactly the same amount, $50, $60 plus shipping. Also, always remember when you go to the thrift store, if you're able to, check these out, make sure they're working as best you can there before you buy them. Some places will let you do returns, others won't. There is a lot of talk in the community about the DVD VHS players, but don't forget about these CD changers. Test them when you're there as best you can, but the CD changers go for a lot of money. These should get me, like I said, between $60 and $90 plus, but I've had other ones of different brands go for even more money. In general, when you're in the electronic section or any section for that matter at the thrift store, be curious about the stuff that's around you. Look anything up that looks interesting, different, unique, or you just wanna learn more about that item. There are so many things you can learn that aren't even shown in videos just by looking everything up. Don't be shy, do it and make some money. Since I found a mug earlier, I decided to go and look more thoroughly in the mug section. When I'm looking for mugs, number one is price. I really don't like to pay much more than a dollar unless it's an awesome mug. And also I'm looking for pop culture stuff, sports stuff, and vintage themed stuff. This Hershey Kisses one was tempting, but just, I followed my gut on that one. I thought it would take too long to sell, so I decided to pass. It looks like somebody was an eBay power seller and then decided to donate their mug. I didn't pick this up myself, so if you're an eBay seller in St. George, go to the DI, it's there. I'm gonna take a quick look at the CDs, DVDs, and video games, see if there's anything worth it. When I was a little kid, this was my worst nightmare. I was so scared of E.T., and here it is, still haunting me all these years later. <laughs> Let's head to the Switchpoint Boutique. This is another thrift store here in St. George. See if we have any luck. Found a couple hats. Here's a Cleveland Cavaliers hat, a fitted Mitchell and Ness. Everybody knows I like those. Unfortunately, at five bucks, I just decided to pass. If LeBron was still on the team, I probably would have picked that up. I thought this was a Team USA hat, but unfortunately, it's just a generic USA hat. But if it was a vintage Dream Team one, I would have definitely picked it up at five, six, seven, even ten dollars. But being a generic USA one, um, it wasn't worth the money. And there's a nice Tampa Bay Rays New Era hat, but at five bucks, I just decided to pass on that. I don't like fitted hats that much. 
here I am out of my comfort zone looking at shirts, seeing if any are worth reselling. It's important in reselling to always push yourself, look at things you're not used to looking at, and see if there's any value there. I didn't find anything, but I'm going to continue to keep looking, and one of these days I'm going to find some good shirt finds. It's always nice to find Pyrex at a boutique or a thrift store, but at $100 for the set, there is no way I'm picking that up. That's more than probably what it goes for on eBay for the set, and it's not really a desirable pattern, so that is a definite no low, no bolo. Um, thought this was cool. Don brought this to my attention. A vintage kind of cool, you know, neon style sailing ship. That is that is rad. Wouldn't be something I'd want to ship, but pretty cool. Off to the Hope Chest thrift store in St. George. Let's see what we find. I have found some good stuff in the past here. So fingers crossed I find something awesome. Here is another Nolo, another No Bolo Avon perfume bottles. They look cool, I get it, but they're just not worth any money. Stay away from these and save your cash. Here we go. Here's an item I might want to buy, a Harley Davidson strapback hat. Just needed to check it out and see what the price was. It's only $350. I haven't sold a lot of Harley stuff, but I know it's good. At $350, I'm definitely going to pick it up. Looking at the belt buckles, just nothing quite worth it, unfortunately. I've been looking at the golf clubs lately when I go to the thrift. It is the season. Um, last time people told me to look for Ping and Nike. I'm looking for that and um, didn't find any, unfortunately. Want to see something wild? I've actually sold these before, but at $54, I don't know what they're thinking. Whoever's pricing that um, needs to go check eBay a little bit more thoroughly. And you've heard of the DVD VHS players. How about the double VHS players? I might have picked that up. It had a little value, but at $25, there is no no way I can make any money on that. This is going to be one of those thrift stores that just charges too much money. If you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. Please take a second and like the video so it gets pushed out to more people. And also subscribe so you can see more content like this. This week, in the next four or five days, I am going to be going to Vegas and also thrifting down here. So there will be a lot of thrifting and yard sale videos. Stuff that I'm finding that you can find too and make a profit on. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you tomorrow.